Hey, what's up gang? It's Jay, and we are talking chess rigs. There's been a lot of chit chat on the web lately on more Minuteman specific gear. Um, I'm, it, it excites me that people are using the term Minuteman more and more over the last few months. Um, I don't know if it's finally just coming to a head. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm just noticing it more um, as I follow certain people. Maybe it's guys, um, you know, the, uh, the earth, the, the um, oh, what do you call it, the, the, the natural built guys, the guys who have kind of built the, the grassroots movement of the guys like um, myself, Risky Krisky, um, the Prepared Wanderer, um, uh, Swamp Dweller, um, Synth Gunner, th those guys, uh, Modern Frontiersman is another one, um, Charlie Alpha Concepts, or Alpha Charlie Concepts, I'm sorry. Um, these guys are kind of your, I think, your, your bread and butter. This is your average, everyday guy. And these are the guys who are really, have really kind of gotten it. And that's, uh, I think it's super cool. Um, it, it excites me, at least. So, um, so I think with chest rigs, like I, like I said before, there's a whole bunch out there. Um, there's different ways of doing it. There's, I know there's a, a guy's a Prepared Wanderer is one. He just um, did a video. And I'll put a link to it down below. And um, he was really, like, it's been fun to watch him make the progression and um, to finally figure out that what what's going to work for him. He, he, I think it finally clicked that he's got it. And that's um, I'm, I'm super proud of him because he's, he's figured it out. Um, he's, he's done the journey a little bit of the hard way, but, he's, uh, but, um, but haven't we all, right? We're just all at different stages of it. So chest rigs, I mean... Really, when it comes down to it, your your chest rig is to support your main firearm, which for most of us is going to be our rifle. It's going to have a little bit of support equipment in it. Maybe it's going to have map and compass. Maybe it's going to have lights. Maybe first aid. Um, maybe a multi-tool, things like that. Um, some of it's going to be based on mission parameters um, and what your area is and what you feel your needs are. Some of it is going to be based off of how much room do you have. You know, obviously the more room you have, the bulkier it's going to be. So that may not always be good. Um, but this is always going to be that um, that simple throw-on-go, um, two, three rifle mags, maybe a couple more than that, maybe a pistol mag or two, maybe a radio, uh, things like that, okay? But most importantly, things like this are going, chest rigs work beautifully with a pack setup so whether it be your patrol pack salt pack 24-hour pack get home bag bug out bag whatever you want to call it it's a, your pack right for your all your sustainment gear um, this helps support that because it's low profile and fits with a backpack super well so and it also is going to hide underneath a jacket really well you know if you're wearing this and you're you know have a jacket on over top it's gonna it's gonna cover it's gonna look a little bit bulky like you got a big chest um, but it's gonna uh, it's gonna conceal well so when a gray man approach that works out as well too for you so um, I'm gonna go over some of my chest rigs that I have um, why I have certain things and um, I guess why it works for me all right so well um, let's uh, let's get at it here have a uh, wet my whistle here for a moment Tonight's drink is Platform Beer Company's Sunset Surfer. Anyone can see that, right? All right, so that is, um, that's tonight's flavor, I guess. It is a Session IPA, Hawaiian-style India Pale Ale, actually. So pineapple, guava, citrus, Sun Surfer. Pretty good. Not a review for them. Um, so, chest rigs. This specific specific one here is from Gomi Dynamics. I actually, um, I wasn't looking for another chest rig, but I happened to win this on an Instagram contest from Gomi Dynamics, and, uh, it is super similar to, like, the, um, Spiritus Systems, uh, micro rig, um, the Haley micro rig, um, Crydex has their MK3, MK4, uh, chest rigs, um, super similar to that. So this is just your basic, your basic micro chest rig, okay? So it's designed to hold three rifle mags, which we got there. You Up front, you can put a pistol magazine in there. It's designed to fit a single stack or a double stack, so that's nice for an extra reload, spot for a light or a pair of um, 
or a multi-tool. And then there is a small pocket off to the side that you can put, I mean, I have a couple glow sticks in there and um, you can put a map in there, compass, a, a cliff bar or two, and that about maxes out that little side pouch there. So this is really your bare bones my micro chest rig, okay? I think this is gr something great for keeping inside a pack, like in your car in a get home bag. Um, this can be worn with your uh, your LBE, like I have the Schmirsch uh, patrol set up, so I could easily put this on the front of, you know, wear this, throw my LBE on, and good to go. So, um, it, you know, it, uh, it's designed to really meld really well with all that stuff. So, and then once again, it fits all of your standard, the retention's really good on this, um, all your standard AR rifle mags. Um, designed to fit in there really well and off you go. If you wanted to, you could pop a radio in there obviously. I mean, take one off on the side, throw a radio in there. You'll see I have a radio in one of my other rigs. Uh, so you could easily set it up that way as well and um, be good to go. But just simple strap system to it. I mean, you guys all know what a chest rig's design, how it's designed to be worn. But this also has a Velcro back to it so that you can put that on a plate carrier, which I'll show you guys in a minute how I have another one of these set up. But um, super simple, lightweight. If anything else, I think if, if for all you guys out there, if you're looking for a chest rig, these micro rigs are really the way to go. It's probably gonna suit 90 plus percent of all of your needs, um, whatever they may be. This will probably take care of most of that. So I, I highly recommend something like this, okay? So we have that. So you have that, and then let's go ahead and go into, so let's say you have the micro chest rig set up, right? But you want to be able to, and what I'm getting into here is you want it to be scalable. You want to be able to put it on a plate carrier, okay? So here I have the Crydex. This is the MK4, I think it is. Maybe it's the MK3, I don't remember. Um, but you have that chest rig. It's another micro rig, okay? You can take it off. So it's designed to come off, and it comes with separate shoulder straps, obviously. But once again, this is the same thing as that Gomi Dynamics, designed to be a super slim chest rig. Once again, it's going to have a cover that can cover up that Velcro. I happen to have it on a plate carrier there. It's set up for three AR mags. The one downfall of these is they won't fit AK mags, both 7.62 and 5.45, um, unless you do use the included double mag sleeve, but then it'll accommodate the slight, especially the, um, the, the lip on the magazine, it'll accommodate that wider mag in there, but then you can only, you're, you're, you're stuck to only having two instead of three AR mags. So I'm always gonna use these with my AR mags. And then on the front, full field of Velcro on the front for your cool dude patches, just like on the other one. Um, then you have an accessory pouch on the front. This, I like I like this on this one. So it's an accessory that you buy. It's a, um, it's a zippered cover that inserts into it. So it allows you to carry a little bit more administration gear here. So in here, I've got glow sticks, I've got some camo for your face, I have a dummy corded in, a red light, and a Swiss Army tool, and then there's a compass in there and a lighter wrapped in duct tape. So, you know, once it, so here I'm able to carry a little bit more, okay? So I like that with this, and I, and I think this one, for the most part, this one's going to live on my, since I... It wasn't originally the case it wasn't going to live on it, but um, it uh, winning that one from Gomi Dynamics really allowed me to uh, have this be a permanent fixture on my plate carrier there. Then I have a um, have a uh, stuck casing removal tool there, and uh, yeah, kind of good to go with that, right? So I like that a lot. It came with a dangler pouch, so you can hang that dangler pouch off the bottom of it as well and uh, yeah it works right so once again that's another micro test rig and then it just clips into this is actually hard to do with it loaded with mags but 
it is designed to just clip right into your plate carrier, Velcro it down, and you're off and running, right? All right, so that is the Crydex. Like I said, MK3, M MK4, I don't know, They're, they both look the same to me. So we've got that. Another way you can do is old army surplus, right? Um, I think most people, when they think army surplus, they picture the old chai cop chest rigs. Which, um, which is kind of a, uh, which in the modern day era, era of chess rigs, that, that's kind of probably what really kicked it off, what really started it. Um, you had so many guys from, you know, early on in the Vietnam War who were using captured chess rigs and starting to, um, use those for load carriage. And they were working out extremely well. So you started getting the, the, the special forces guys, rangers, your... Mac V Sog, um, they all started adopting that kit, and um, to um, the, uh, really with with great success to it. But um, the, what I'm going to show you today is, and you guys have seen a previous video to this, but this is a Rhodesian chest rig. This one's made by Faraday and Sons. I modified this one a bunch to because um, it was ri originally designed to fit the G3 mags, and um, here I turned it into being able to use both AK, both um, 47 and 74 mags, and AR mags um, across the whole thing. So I could carry a maximum of 8 mags on this if I wanted to. Um, it's designed, once again, it's low profile, designed to wrap around you. You can wear it, once again, with a lo load-bearing equipment. You can wear it with a pack if you want to. You could wear this over top of a slick, over, over top of a slick plate carrier. So, um, Really, it's quite versatile, but it's heavy, so that's going to be one of the downfalls. And it's made out of a heavy-duty cotton canvas, so when it gets wet, it gets even heavier. So, um, and then you get the whole mildew thing, and I think that was one of the complaints of the Chicom rigs was um, when they got wet in those humid conditions, they were heavy. So, um, and you got that stench from it. So, so yeah. Um, so kind of a downfall of that, but all the pluses are the the versatility of it and its classic look. So I set mine up where I have a spot for carrying a radio, or once again, I can put a couple more um, magazines in there. So that Velcro's into place. Um, I did elastic keepers on mine, so you can pop those off and pull mags out and uh, pop them back in, throw your elastic keeper over the top, and away you go once again. So, and it fits, you know, you can have your, your classic Bakelite magazines or your newer plastic magazines, they all work. And then I did a dedicated first aid pouch off to the side on this one. So here I left the original flap on it. So you just literally undo that flap and your first aid kit comes out. And um, you're, set in, you're set in there with rolled gauze, um, ace bandages, uh, trauma shears, sharpie, more rolled gauze. Um, Cobain tape, all that good stuff. So, I um, I make those little little inserts. I uh, like them a lot. I use them in a lot of my gear. They um, super versatile. So you just pop that back in, close it off, snap it, and away you go. And then you can always um, a couple little straps on the side. You could attach tourniquets to it or a knife or whatever. Um, but yeah, that works out really well. So kind of your classic simple thing. But um, the downfall of that is no administration, no um, admin space. So if you're wearing that, you're probably going to be sporting a ruck and um, maybe a few extra things. But that's more bare bones, down and dirty, I guess. And then um, last but not least, you got your Hill People Gear type of kit bags, right? So we've all seen these, the runner kit bags. Um, you know, designed to be worn nice and high. I wear this a ton on backpacking trips. I like this a lot. I like this um, for longer hikes where um, I can use it as kind of a survival bag as well. So that way, this is just always on my body. Um, but I like the fact that you have tons of pockets and space on it for more survival-oriented gear. So you can do things. I mean, on the inside here, I have... Um, map and compass, write in the rain notebook. Um, there's space for dummy cording things, so I have stuff like, you know, I have a ferro rod dummy corded in there with a striker. I have compass and whistle dummy corded in there. I have um, a pen, pencil, sharpie, lighter, 
um, some glow sticks. Got all that in there. What else have I got in here? Geez, oh, I have a um, collapsible water bottle with um, a couple small, um, high calorie little um, granola bars. What else? Got some water purification tablets, some good old iodine tablets in there. So that way I have a water, a means of collecting water and purifying water. Um, what else on the front here? So here we've got a signal panel that can double as a um, sit pad. I keep a um, bandana that's an American flag. I have maps. Geez, so I have maps. I have hand warmers. I have a pocket constitution, another American flag. So, you know, some kind of some odds and ends that you have room for in this. And then on the front, you do have a molly field on the front. So I happen to put a um, Emerson Gear uh, high speed mag pouch on there for putting another AR mag. And, or you can pop a radio on there if you want to. Um, I like that a lot. Um, I got pace beads, um, carabiner on the side for like hanging ear pro or, or work gloves, what have you. You can also keep your uh, concealed carry pistol inside of that and there's room inside for putting two more AR magazines. So really, it kind of makes for a nice um, nice setup. You can wear this, once again, you can wear this with a, um, you know, like I'll wear this out on patrols with my Schmirsch rig, um, just to be able to have more stuff up front and center to me instead of digging into the um, side pouches. That, um, I like that a lot. So, super versatile. Um, you know, all in all, I mean, for a, a decent micro chest rig, you're gonna pay 100 bucks. So whether you're spending 100 bucks on something that's versatile, like, you know, hill people gear or something similar um type of kit bag or you're spending it on you know the gomi dynamics uh micro rig or the spirit of systems or um or whatever or if you're pinching pennies and um you know like a lot of us do and you're looking to be more budget minded i mean geez oh man go get yourself a chicom chest rig for 20 bucks one of the uh, Faraday and Son um, reproduction roadie rigs for, I think, 35 bucks. Um, make all that work for you, right, guys? So, uh, anyways, I think that's what I got for chess rigs. So, I know it's been a few weeks since I've put a video out. I've just been super busy with, um, with kids and uh, family life. Um, so, scouts, we have a big, uh, we have a big uh, high adventure trip coming up, so we're going to be gone for that. But, um... I think Prepared Wanderer's video earlier today on his chest rig kind of uh, just uh, lit the fire in me where I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm like I need, I need to uh, talk about chest rigs here. It's, uh, there's a lot of them out there. A lot of guys have been talking about it. And I think, um, I think it's been a great conversation everyone's having. So this is kind of adding my two cents into the, uh, into the equation on what I use, what, I, uh, what works for me, what I like, and why and how I use it. So, um... Anyways, guys, that's all I got. So cheers. Have a good evening, everyone. And uh, we'll catch up with you real soon. Thanks a bunch.